God. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So what are we going to do? Did she die? No, but she's in very critical condition. Um, Mr. Weber, I need to um, speak with you alone and you need to fill out some forms. Yes, of course. We're here, girls. I can't believe this is happening. I know. I can't either. I know this is crazy. How can somebody as healthy as Riley be so sick? I don't know. This is all my fault. It's nobody's fault, Leah. Yes, it is. Me and Dad, we were so naive about this. Look, it's okay. No, it's not okay. What if... What if Riley doesn't make it? She'll make it. We're scared too. How can you be scared? How can you and Matilda be scared, Jennifer? You're not her family. Wait just a minute. Just because we're not related to her doesn't mean we don't love her like she was our family. She's right, Leah. Jennifer and Matilda have known us since we were practically babies. I'm sorry. It's just, I feel so terrible. I mean, it's my fault. Look, getting angry at, getting angry and blaming yourself isn't going to make this situation better. All I have to do is pray. Pray that everything's going to be okay. But I haven't prayed in the longest time. I don't think God even remembers who I am. I'll help you with that. How? God? Leah. Leah? God. <sighs> you know, I would hit you, but I'm too stressed out. Just pray. <sighs> okay. God, you may not remember me, but this is Leah. Leah Weber. I know I haven't prayed and talked to you for the longest time, and I'm sorry. I mean, I have so much to be grateful for. My curly hair, my perfect complexion, my gorgeous body, my long legs. He knows what you look like, Leah. Okay, okay. But please, let Riley be okay. Please let her be okay. That's all we want. Here comes Dad. What did the doctor say? Riley has to have a heart transfusion. What? They just took grad surgery. She doesn't look good. Is she breathing? Barely. She's on the respirator right now. Oh my God. And um, they say even if she does make it, she's gonna need a lot of physical therapy. And I don't think we could afford that. I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, our church has fundraisers all the time. Me, Miss Hilda, and the kids in our class, and even the whole fourth grade can. Can, um, well, we could raise money and help pay for it. Why would you do that? Because we may not be related to you guys, but we care about you like you are part of our family. And we won't do anything we can to save Riley. Mr. Weber. Yes. Um, you can go in and see your daughter. Can't we come? I'm sorry, but you can. She's in, she's in ICU right now, and only family, or to be specific, only parents can come and see her. Look, 
please. We know the hospital has rooms, but can't you just bend them just this once? I'm sorry, but a rule is a rule. Look, I want to see my sister, okay? We came here. We're not going to leave her. Now get my daughter a shot! What are you doing? I don't know. I saw it in a movie. It was kind of stupid because it didn't work in the movie either. I'm sorry, but when she gets out of ICU, siblings and friends can come see her. But until then, I'm afraid you can't. Are you ready, Mr. Weber? Just give me a minute. Okay. I really appreciate you guys sticking by me. By us. Like we said, you guys are like family. We want to be with you during this difficult time. Thank you. And I really appreciate you guys helping. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to go talk to the doctor. I think Riley needs to be with her family. All of you. Thanks. Okay. You can come in, but only for a couple minutes. And keep your voices down. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at her. It looks so helpless. You know, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I hope she's going to be okay. Me too. How can we go on without her if she doesn't live? Just think positive. I'm sure she'll be fine. But what if she's not? I don't know. I wonder what could be going on in that hot little head of hers. <laughs> she was so good. I know. I can't believe she's gone. I know. If only we listen when she was sick. I know. I feel horrible. <sighs> Where's Dad? He was too broken up to come. <laughs> Dad, you're here. Of course I'm here. This is my daughter. <sighs> Am I dead? <laughs> Poor thing. I know. How could we go on without her? I don't know. <laughs> I loved her so much. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dad! Dad! What's wrong? She's speaking. I'm sorry. Riley? I'm sorry. Riley. Riley, honey, it's okay. It's us. Is she going to be okay? I don't know. I'm sorry I died, Dad. Honey, you didn't die. It's okay. You're going to be okay. You're in the hospital. We're here, honey. It's okay. I had the weirdest dream. It turned out I was at my funeral, and you guys were all saying nice stuff about me. She was so heartbroken about it. It's okay, honey. We're here. I think you're going to be okay. You really scared us. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We're just glad you're going to be okay. At least we hope so. Has she woken up? Yes, she woke up. Well, I went over her test results. The uh, transfusion was a success. Oh, thank God. She's going to have to be in the hospital for a couple of weeks, and then when she gets home, she's going to have to um, keep her stress levels down. 
um, just to be home for about a few more months. Um, so if I were you, I'd get her a tutor. Yes, of course, we'll manage. And she's going to have to have a lot of physical therapy. And um, we looked over her insurance, and it covers it. Oh, good. Yes, um, she's going to be here for a couple weeks um, to recover. And um, then, but the main thing is she's going to be okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, you can visit for a few more minutes, but I do need her to rest. We'll be out. Okay. Okay, Kato, we better get home. Okay. I love you. We'll be back to see you tomorrow, okay? But it's late. It's past midnight. Okay. Get some rest. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. How are you, okay? Okay. Come on, Leah. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Bye. Bye. I'm really sorry. For what? I didn't realize you were so sick. You could have died. You almost did, and really, it's okay. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. You don't have to leave. Yes, she does. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I'm gonna, we're going to go home and get some rest. Okay. Bye. Bye. <sighs> How's this look? Um, your end's a little low. Really? I've been working out. Just raise your end of the banner. Oh. That was Dad. He's at. The, he's pulling up in the driveway with Riley. Oh, that's great. Everybody get ready. I don't know, guys. Do you think it's smart for us to jump out and surprise, surprise somebody who just had open heart surgery? Well, I don't know. We're home. Shh, get ready. Surprise! Who are you talking to? I'm gonna go and get the cake. Welcome home, sis. Thanks. Here, sit down. Oh, this is nice. You guys didn't have to do this. Of course we did. We're so glad you're here. So am I. I'm gonna go help Lee with the cake. No. No. Allow me. I'm so glad she's gonna be okay. Me too. Darn it. <laughs> oh my god! What's wrong? Haven't you seen anyone drop a knife before? Oh, he thought. Well, never mind what I thought. Do you want help? No, you're the guest of honor. I live here. I'm serious. Go in and lay down. I'll be right in. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay. <sighs> Thank you for bringing her back to us.